What's your baseball philosophy? What got you so far? Uh, you know, just, just understanding my approach and uh, going out there and playing the game. And you know, just knowing, you know, catching an offense that leaves two different parts of my game. Um, understanding the pitchers you know, behind the plate. Understanding what they got that day. You know, whether it's a fastball, curveball, changeup, etc. And uh, just helping them get through as many innings as they can. Um, get my closers, middle relief guys, whatever it may be that day, and understanding what they got to get them through the game, and you know, offensively, understanding my approach, not getting away from it, um, just going out there every day battling. Uh, some days you may have it, some days you don't. But at the same time, you got to make that pitcher and opposing team work, and, and just go out there and battle. Now, sometimes you talk about the first round draft picks, and half of them make the major leagues, but some of them get passed up by guys drafting the 50th round. Why does that happen? Uh, you know, it's determination. Um, you know, a lot of guys that get drafted first round, the majority of them think they got it made, and they don't. And guys that get drafted later in the rounds, you know, their expectations are high still, just that they were a first rounder. Um, you know, whether it's swagger, you know, whatever it may be that people have, you go out there and battle each and every day to make it up to the big leagues. Um, you know, that's what everybody tries to do in the minor leagues. And, whether you're first round, fifth round, you know, draft pick, you're gonna have an opportunity. So you gotta take the best of it and go out there and, and do your job. Now spring training, every team brings in more guys to compete with you for your job. How do you approach that? Yeah, you, you, just, you gotta stay within yourself. You understand what, it, what you have to do to make, to make the team. And whatever that may be, you gotta go out there and do it each and every day. Eyes are on you every single day in spring training, especially in big league camp. And you go out there and battle. Competition's a good thing. And if you can't handle it, and then you know, pretty much pack your bag and go home. But you know, every year you're going to have somebody out there battling for your job. You just got to go out there and compete each and every, every single day that you have an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, baseball is an up and down sport. Was there ever a time in your career that you wanted to quit baseball? No. You know, it is up and down, a lot of failure, and you know, failure will haunt you in this game. It's how you get, a, get away from it and uh, how you succeed the next day. Whether it's over four or four punch outs, you know, whatever it may be, you just got to learn to go out there and battle each and every day to get away from it. And at the same time, having fun doing it. It's just a long season, you know, 150, 160 games, whatever it may be. Um, just got to get away from failure and understand why you're here. And understand that they have given you an opportunity. Somebody likes you. You, know, you just got to go out there. And, you know, like I keep saying, you just got to battle every single day. To keep your job. Keep, keep your high dreams that you've always had. Now, do you read Baseball America or where you're ranked in the prospects in the organization and things like that? Does that no, affect I, you? Honestly, I never you know, got caught up in all that. It didn't matter to me. You know, I just wanted to go out there and, and play hard every single day and get the opportunity to make it to the big leagues and you know, I care less about prospects or where I'm ready, so. How about the umpires? How do you handle the umpires? Uh, behind the plate, you know, it's, it's communication and just communicating with them throughout a game, understanding their strike zone, if they're inconsistent or consistent, whatever it may be, asking if they're getting a good look, if I need to do something better when I'm catching. You know, whether it's moving you know, over a little bit, you know, a hair, inch or two here or there, whatever it may be, to get them a better look and to help our pitchers get better look. How about the fans yelling and screaming at you and stuff like that? Does that affect you or maybe the next day when you're signing autographs for the kids or something? Not at all. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's expected. You expect fans, especially here on the road, especially the big leagues. I mean, they're, especially New York, Boston, I mean, they're all over you. And, uh, you know, if your stats aren't too good, they're going to let you know. But at the same time, you got to understand that and understand how to take it. And take it as a positive. You know, thinking they wish they were in my, in my shoes, which a lot of people probably want to be a big leader. The fans are going to be all over you no matter what. And, uh, just, just going out there having fun. And, and don't take it. Take it to heart. Those guys don't even know you. They just look at your background, whatever it may be, and feel like they know you, but they don't. And, Take it aside. What would you tell a high school kid about professional baseball that you learned the hard way that nobody told you about? I'm sorry? What would you tell a high school kid about professional baseball that you learned the hard way that nobody told you about before you got into it? Yeah. You know, when I first signed in 06, uh, my, my first year I went out with you know, not knowing a subject, not knowing anybody, not knowing anybody who's been throughout the organization, not knowing anybody in the front office. You, you just got to learn to 
meet new people and uh, having fun, having fun doing it. And you know, there there wasn't really anything that was uh, difficult when I first signed. Pretty much, you know, I, I I heard from a lot of people. I knew a lot of people, you know, that had signed and already had you know careers going. And they kind of yeah. told me what to expect when I first signed. So nothing, nothing too crazy.